this week in second grade, we will be doing projects based off of Native American Indian Heritage Month. Because November is an annual uh, um, month that celebrates Native, Amer Native American Indian Heritage Month. And it is celebrated because Native American Indians have rich histories, their cultures, and important contributions of our nation's Native American Indian people. So, for second grade, we will be drawing just one part of a totem pole. And totem poles generally are made up of different animals. It, each section of it is a different animal, most of them. They are made up of other things as well, but for the most part, they used animals as symbolism. Because Native Americans have lots of symbolism, like for example, a circle, of, like a dream catcher or an Indian shield, or whatever. Those are all circles, and they symbolize life for Native Americans. But totem poles are carved from very large trees. Some of them not that large. They do have the, your smaller totem poles that are small, carved from smaller trees. But totem poles were mainly from North American cultures of, Na of Native American Indians from Alaska, British Columbia, and the Pacific Northwest tribes. Totem poles tell stories important of important of important events each figure or each part of a totem pole because this would just be one part of a totem pole tells a story or the history of Native American legends totem poles are not worshipped but more used for memorials Totem, you have your memorial totem poles for the deceased, for people who have passed away. You have your genealogy totem poles, which means those stand for family status and, and certain families. And then you have your mortuary totem poles that um, hold ashes and then the ashes of passed away um, loved ones. And then you have your shame totem poles that are put up for um, people who are being shamed. Um, next line. Totem poles also were... They were very limited in the colors that they could use when, when back when they made totem poles, the original ones. So artists relied on natural pigments from the earth. And black was the most common color that they could get from the earth. And red and blue and green, those were the most common, common ones that they could get from the earth. The other colors, like yellow, green... And any other color that they used on color, on totem poles, they had to um, work for them or find them or make them themselves. And they just weren't used as often because they were not naturally found in the earth. Now, totem poles, like I said, are each section of them. And you will have some examples of totem poles to look at. And you will also have a video to watch. But each section of your totem poles was generally a animal most of the time. Mainly made up of different animals like carved on top of each other. Um, and your common figures of animals were the raven. They carved ravens. Which the raven was a symbol of the creator, the eagle representing peace and friendship, or the killer whale, a symbol of strength, or the thunderbird, the beaver, the wolf, the frog, and 
the all these all these animals just symbolize different things because, like I said, on um, Native Native American Indians, they had symbolism. They used symbolism for a lot of things, and they had different. To them, they had different meanings for pretty much everything they used, um, decorative wise. So we're going to go ahead and draw our. Um, we're going to draw a bird, um, kind of like almost like an eagle or a hawk or. whatever kind of bird you want to call it so on your paper i want you to go from one side to the other and make a straight line across and you can use as usual crayons markers coloring pencil whatever you have and then i want you to bring that bring connect a v shape a wide V shape to that straight line across to make a big shape. So you should have a big triangle now. And then you're going to put two circles inside of that. And we're going to color those circles in. And next, you're going to draw your eyes. And the eyes are going to be a little shape shaped a little different on the outside but you're just going to draw a straight line on one side for one eyeball and then kind of a curved line up to however far you need it for the depending on the size of your paper because you want to make sure it's the whole size of the paper and then you're going to bring it when you take it across at the top you're going to bring it back down and connect it to the bottom and you're going to draw that same shape on the other side, only kind of curve it out the opposite way. So straight curve line up, across, curve line back down, and then connect it together at the bottom. Now you're going to kind of draw a football shape on the inside for your eye. And this is a typical eye shape. And then you're going to put kind of an oval inside of that. And then you're going to do your typical eye shape and a oval inside of that. Now, I'm going to color this in. And color the inside of my eyeball in that oval shape. And color the rest of the eye in. Now we're going to move on to our decorative part of our eagle. Where we just bring in a V shape at the top. Take it down from the bottom. I mean from the top. Bring it to a point and back up. So you have a V shape there. And then you're just going to put some straight lines in there beside your eyes and leave kind of a space so it's almost like you're doing a dashed line. Instead of a dotted line, you're going to make it dashed, which is just short lines with little breaks in them instead of one solid line. And here, just some lines to the sides, wherever and however you want them. And under this, this eye, under that eye, I was about to say that's that eye, and then come out this eye. Um, you're going to add just some more curved lines under there. And we're just putting detail. And you can put whatever kind of detail you want. We're just adding detail to our um, bird's face. So if you don't want to do this 
type, if you've got another idea for what, for another kind of detail to add to your bird, that for your totem pole, that is completely fine. You can use that instead. And now I'm just going to come in and for some more detail to add to our bird to kind of make it not so plain just bring in some curved or well actually wavy lines that go from one side to the other and I put a break in there to so the beak could be more in the foreground so that we know the beak is in front of the rest of it I'm going to skip a line and continue with my red and do another wavy line. And then I'm going to come in with some blue and do some more dashed lines. And finish the rest of my detail off in blue with my V shapes and my dashed lines and my curved lines under the eyes. And then finish off my wavy lines. So we're finishing off our wavy lines. And we're finishing off our wavy lines and excuse that someone was walking by and you can hear everything in the hallway now down here at the bottom we're gonna well you may want to start you're gonna do some upside down news for the eagle or hawk or whatever kind of bird you want to call this for its claws and you're just going to do three upside down u's on one side and then three upside down u's on the other side and just so just bump bump Bump, three upside down news and you're going to color that in and then we're going to come in that's the reason why I stopped doing that because I knew it was going to mix it together going to come in and over that orange for our birds um, claws I'm going to draw a just some V shapes to let you know that they are pointy and they're sharp kind of like an eagles and next the last thing you're going to do is color in that beak and once you color in that beak, you will have one section of a totem pole drawn and colored in. And I hope you enjoy the enrichment videos. They're going to give you some information on um, more information on what Native American Indian culture is all about and why we, why we recognize it every year, every November. And 
there you have your totem pole another example of it and enjoy your enrichment and good luck on your totem poles and i look forward to seeing what you join in